Both Chinese and Jewish parents prize education and through education instill in their children the ancient cultures they hold so dear. We have also been in conversation about how we might bring the two traditions, Chinese and Jewish, together in comparative studies, which we believe will achieve a kind of broader understanding of each of the traditions separately. It's a very great lecture, and I learned something about Jewish and some knowledge about Kung Fu and get to know there are some common philosophy. Not unlike Confucius, Ezra blamed the Jews' political weakness on their failure to adhere to classical Jewish heritage. Certain concepts from the old modernity were solid, well-defined. You think of family, you think of politics, everything had a certain form. And now in this liquid modernity, everything is, is being changed. There is, uh, everything now is up for reinterpretation. We are trying to make a film, fiction film, about Chinese and Jewish family. So we have huge interest to know more about the cultural things. This is the story of Jewish family life, where the home is the foundation for a child's moral and educational development. Chinese parents understand this experience as well. What the Bible does not tell us was the determined effort that Ezra and his colleagues invested to instill within the Jewish people a desire to rededicate themselves to the ancient heritage. Confucius' response was like this. The young should have our respect. How do we know that the coming generation may not prove to be the equal of the present one?